Hello learners, welcome to this session on practical to find the volume of solid using WX Maxima. Myself Gayatri P, Assistant Professor of Mathematics working at Government First Grade College Sulya, Dakshina, Kannada. Students, first we open the console of WX Maxima. Now, here is a question for you. Find the volume of the solid bounded above by z equal to x, x square plus y square below by the triangle enclosed by the lines x plus y equal to 2, the y axis x equal to 0 and the line y equal to x. Now, we write the commands. Kill all dollar first command that is we clear the console here dollar means it suppress the output after entering the key now write the function z equal to x square plus y square as z colon x square that is x square plus uh, plus uh, y square x square plus y square put a semicolon we need output here next we write three equations uh, that are lines first equation is equation 1 we take x equal to y equal to x as the first equation semicolon because outcome is needed result is needed now write the second equation that is x plus y equal to equation 2 that can be written as equation eq2 colon x plus y is equal to 2 Put a semicolon, then write last equation that is equation number 3, eq3 colon x equal to 0. Put semicolon, then shift enter gives the result z equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. See here below the answer is for this. See. Z equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. Next we write here C x equal to 0. So we take x1 equal to 0. That is the lower limit of x for the integration. That is to find the volume we have to double integrate with respect to x and y both. So here uh, x, uh, x1 colon 0, x1 equal to 0 means put a semicolon because outcome is needed. S1, S1 means we here we evaluate the two equations that is equation 2 and equation 1. Substitute equation 1 that is y equal to x in equation 2 to get 2x equal to 2 that is the command is S1 that is all colon evaluate within parenthesis equation 2 comma equation 1 put a semicolon now shift enter gives x1 equal to that is 0 and 2x equal to 2 so s1 so after solving we get 2x equal to and x1 is 0 so lower limit of x is 0. Now we find the upper limit that is solve S1 that is we have to solve 2x equal to 2. We already know the value must be equal to 1. So now S2 means solve S1. Here variable is x so solve S2 column solve within parenthesis write S1 comma x. 
Next put the semicolon, shift semicolon, shift enter gives the value of x as 1 that is our x1 that is the upper limit of sorry x2 that is the upper limit of x so x1 is 0 and x2 is 1 so we can write x2 as right hand side of s2 here put a square bracket the first element that means first element here it is only 1 x is 1 so we write here is 2 of square bracket 1 put a semicolon so we get the value x2 equal to 1 here see output is uh, next uh, we write if y1 equal to x that is the lower limit for y when we integrate with respect to y so y1 equal to x can be written as y1 is to x put a semicolon next to find y2 we know that from the second equation x plus y equal to 2 y equal to 2 minus x so we can write y2 as y2 column 2 minus x dollar now shift enter gives the lower limit y1 is x, upper limit y2 is 2 minus x. Now we integrate. So first integration with respect to y that is v1 column integrate integrate that z with respect to y that is z comma y comma y1 comma y2. So we are integrating with respect to y here. Integrating z with respect to y. So we get one integration. We need double integration. Put the semicolon. Then v2 means again integrate to v1. So we get double integration. Here v2 integrate v1 with respect to x. So integrate v1. v1 comma x comma x1 comma x2 then put a semicolon v2 is to integrate v1 comma x comma x1 comma x2 to semicolon then again here we can get negative or positive value but we need only positive value because volume is always positive so we write v equal to some absolute value of that double integration. So here the command is v colon absolute v2 dollar. Next we write the output in words. So we want print command. So print within parenthesis double inverted comma because we are writing words volume equal to then put comma outside, volume is here, absolute v2. So put comma, not semicolon, just a comma inside the parenthesis, absolute v2. Then put dollar outside and put dollar outside and press the shift and enter key. To get the volume of the solid as you see the result is 4 by 3. V1 and V2 are also displayed.